Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this happens to be the first video that you're seeing. Today I wanted to share seven things that no one tells you about your 20s. Now I don't have all the answers, but I think it's really helpful to hear people speak on their experiences and what they personally learned and gone through. Believe it or not, I'm turning 28 this year, so I haven't been through all my 20s, so I'm sure I'll learn some more lessons, but it feels like a fucking era from turning 20 and no longer being a teenager to 27. If you like videos like this and you want more advicey tips videos like this, give this video a thumbs up to let me know. It's free to do, it's really easy, and it helps me to know if you guys want more videos like this in the future. I feel like the message is just like, your 20s are gonna be so crazy, best time of your life ever, no responsibilities, you're so young, you can do whatever you want. Well, I guess those are true in some ways. Nobody freaking tells you the shit show and the shit storm that is going to be parts of your 20s experience. Number one, I swear this is the biggest thing I never actually expected or heard anyone prepare me for, and that is it is hard to make friends in your 20s. Now, I'm specifically talking about post-graduation after college, I think most of us in those early years, if we do follow that traditional college path, it's actually kind of easy to make friends or at least to be around people your same age all the time and make connections, whether you're being forced to in class or you're making genuine connections and making new friends. Okay, something happens when you hit 22, 23, 25, you're graduated, you're maybe moving to a new city or even just, you know, a new area, a new state. No one told me it is hard as hell in this day and age to make friends because I feel like in general, people just aren't outwardly very social. I'm actually embarrassed to say I'm surprised and actually taken aback when people come approach me in person that I've never met before to come have a conversation with me or anything beyond give me like a quick compliment actually engage with me someone that i've never met before i am shocked by that but i think that's one of the reasons it's so hard we stick to our circles even when we go out we stick to that one friend that we're with that friend group and it's actually rare to kind of actually make new connections this isn't a whole like advice video on how to make friends and how to make friendships i've done some podcast episodes on that in the past i will link them in the video description box down below that's probably the number one thing i was not prepared for not only making friends and finding like-minded people but actually keeping those friendships as people start to move new places and your friendships become more long distance you have to really commit number two absolutely nobody has it all figured out no matter how put together they appear to you in person or on social media or professionally trust me no one really has it all together and that's something that i think is the biggest like joke of being a real adult. Maybe it's just because I don't take myself too seriously and I don't, you know, see myself as this like adult who like is so serious. I think as a teenager and even as a child, I would see adults or even just older girls and I would be like, oh my gosh, like she just has it all together. Like she's so perfect. I can't believe one day that's gonna be me. I'm really gonna be like a real adult woman. And then I feel like I wake up every day. I still feel like that like nine year old girl. I think a lot of us struggle with this kind of imposter syndrome, especially in your twenties going from being like 20, that's only a few years fresh out of high school. You're probably still in your like party or exploratory, you know, college aged phase and then as you get into graduating and getting a real adult job and maybe even like settling down and all these things that may or may not happen in the decade that is your 20s it can almost feel like this imposter syndrome of sometimes like hold up how did i even get here it feels like just last week i was puking in the bathroom at the local bar no but for real i guess what i want to get across with this one is that comparison you've heard it a million times but comparison on social media and just in general comparing yourself to others is the worst thing that you can do to yourself it's not beneficial in any way and i guarantee you the people that you're comparing yourself to being like oh my god she's got it all together she's got the perfect job she's got the perfect relationship everything just she has it all together trust me that exact person is comparing themselves to someone that they think is higher up in the cycle never ends trust me when i say nobody has it all together nobody has it all figured out live your life day by day and try not to stress too much and take yourself so seriously number three thing nobody told me about my 20s or maybe uh, i just had selective hearing and didn't 
uh, listen is how expensive life is, especially when you're going from that age of likely as a teenager, young adult, being supported in some ways by your parents, whether that's paying for your schooling, housing, or contributing to your life in some sort of a way. To paying for everything by yourself and just not even realizing like the extra expenses, all of the costs of like a security deposit, all the things you have to buy for moving into your first real adult place for the first time. I mean, it takes years, you guys trash cans, a vacuum, like basic things that aren't even fun to buy, curtains. Oh, I haven't even mentioned the big ones. Once you get to 26 years old, you get the lovely responsibility, as I'm sure many of us know, of paying your own health insurance. I don't know how much y'all's is out there, but shit, mine is expensive. It's one of the lower plans and I live in freaking Idaho, so I can't even imagine what people are paying for healthcare out here. Life is more expensive than anyone told you. And you know what? It's kind of one of those things that's like, fuck it. If I want to live in this society and contribute to my future, I have to pay for these things. I have to figure out a way to pay for these things. And I think your 20s is a big learning experience. Putting away money for your future, which is really boring, but really important. Don't even get me started on taxes. Don't even get me started on medical expenses. If God forbid you have to go to the hospital or anything of the sort happens to you for the first time when you realize that your parents are not paying for that shit trust me you will be alarmed so be careful out there and make sure you have health insurance i'm sure we all know this rent is going up life in general is just freaking expensive but i swear if there had been a class in high school to prepare me for paying taxes and what freaking credit was and learning about credit cards and learning about interest talking about setting up an ira or 401k i know it's not just my school that didn't teach stuff like this i mean maybe in college you're getting more of that but i think this is something that is really lacking with at least high school education at least for when I went to high school, we barely learned any of that stuff. I learned how to write a check, which to be honest, is a little outdated. I very rarely write checks. And that's where I'm saying no one told me how expensive it was gonna be. And I'm sure a lot of us can relate to that. Number four, you are absolutely going to change as a person. I would actually be a little scared and shocked, little buddies here, if you didn't change from being just coming out of being a teenager to being 30 years old. You're gonna change and honestly, some people will leave your life because of that. Not necessarily because you changed, but because you guys aren't on the same path anymore. You guys don't have very much in common anymore, but that is actually good. You know, you're going to outgrow people and I think that's something that we can't really prepare for until we realize it is happening or it has happened. And actually, I think, feel strange at first to outgrow a friendship or outgrow someone from maybe, you know, your childhood or your past. I think it's important to just ask yourself if the people around you, the people that you do surround yourself with, if they are on your team, are they supporting you? Are they bringing you joy? And kind of reevaluating friendships. And I think you do a lot of that in your 20s, especially as you kind of start to like get out of that party phase and get more into your adult settle down phase i think it's very normal to outgrow friendships and other relationships as well and it's just a part of it and it's not a bad thing number five you don't have to find the one or get married or have a baby in your 20s to feel complete and feel on this life path right now i don't want that to come across the wrong way i know that everybody has their different timings for things <laughs> i'm not saying that it's wrong to find that person and settle down and have kids in your 20s. I'm not saying that at all. I think a lot of us though get caught up in this all has to happen and almost putting other really important things like career goals and just putting yourself first. I think a lot of people put themselves on hold to try and fulfill this almost life path of what you think that you should be doing and you think when you're a kid as 30 years old i'm gonna live in this big house i'm gonna be married i'm probably gonna have like two or three kids i mean i'm not saying for everyone but i'm saying when you're a kid and you think about when you're 30 you probably think about yourself being a mom and being this like settled successful person i don't know maybe not for everyone but people are getting married much later um, a lot of people actually aren't getting married at all and I think just really checking in with yourself Maybe this is what I wanted when I was 20 years old But maybe now that I'm getting in my late 20s I realize I don't want this right now or I want to focus on my career first or furthering myself first or working on myself first before settling into these other roles that are gonna have a huge huge impact in my entire 
life. It's easy to feel like everybody's like on this track and everybody's going for the same, that same kind of stuff of just settling down and having kind of the perfect all-American family dream and there's nothing wrong with wanting that okay but just kind of not getting so caught up and it has to happen by this certain age number six it's okay to be selfish and you actually should be selfish at sometimes in your life and I think when you're in your 20s and most likely you're not super settled down and you do have a lot of time in your 20s ideally to kind of do you and be young you should be selfish and you should do the things that are most important to you and a lot of times that's going to involve letting other people down or saying no to people and saying no to things that don't feel right. I know this is something that I struggle with is feeling like I'm going to disappoint somebody by saying no to something that doesn't feel completely 100% for me. Something that has always stuck with me since I've heard it is if it's not a fuck yes, it's a no. <laughs> or if it's not a 100% yes, it's a no and that means saying no to things that you don't feel completely super stoked about and super excited about i think it's so important to ask yourself what you are putting time and effort into and how much you're actually getting back out of that and what you feel from what you are getting out of that okay start saying no to more things say no to more people i think people are more understanding than we give them credit for it can be scary to start being more selfish and putting yourself first but it doesn't have to be a bad thing it's you honoring your true self and what feels good for you and what is going to actually further you and number seven the last thing in this video is your 20s may not and very possibly will not be the best time of your life, be the best decade of your life. Now, of course, no one can say that for sure. Maybe it will. And I know I, for a fact, had an amazing, amazing time in my 20s. I've heard from a lot of older people can confirm <laughs> that their 30s or their 40s or their 60s were the best decade of their life and that they just overall felt a little bit all over the place in their 20s not that they didn't have fun but just that it was more secure it was more just everything was more kind of huh you could take a breath a sigh of relief being in your 30s or being in your 50s i think you figure it all out a little more you get more wise as the years go on what i mean by this is everybody has their struggles and everybody's going through stuff everybody is struggling with something whether it's kind of like the comparison thing before you know you can look at someone and think they have it all together but nobody really does and everyone has their demons and i think it's hard to remember that when you are going through harder times that you're not alone in this mental health struggles and money struggles finances and just figuring yourself out going through tough relationships that are hard and that are teaching you about yourself these are all things that are really going to come up in our 20s and not only our 20s but some of these things are going to come up for the first time you know in our 20s and it's hard to kind of navigate that we're going to go through pain we're going to go through confusion and not knowing who we are and trying to figure ourselves out and trying new things and trying new jobs and trying new relationships and people and friendships and places that we live. I think for me, it all comes back to not taking yourself too seriously, like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, and just living your life and trying to enjoy your life for what it is, knowing that everybody is going through struggles, everybody has pain and trauma and things that they're going to deal with maybe they haven't dealt with it quite yet maybe they're going to deal with it in the future but we all have our own stories and comparison will do absolutely nothing to benefit us i know it's really hard social media makes it impossible not to compare yourself to other people and what others are doing and how they're succeeding in our eyes but hey it's all an illusion anyway just enjoy your time out there whether you watch this and you're under 20 you're in your 20s like me or you're 50. I know I have a lot of older people than me that watch my videos and I hope I did you proud. Um, although I'm sure I will learn a lot more as I get up there and get more wise. <laughs> I hope this video was helpful. If you guys made it until the end of this and you enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up button for me. It is so helpful. And also leave me a comment down below of, you know, the best lesson that you have learned in your life so far whether you're 20 or 60 years old i would love to hear from you guys down below you can check out my patreon here if you want to see my secret content that i don't upload to youtube i do specific videos on there photo posts live streams and you guys can see all of that by becoming a patron the link is in the description box down below and thank you guys so much for watching as always i'll see you soon in my next video bye